Hi everyone, welcome to my channel BigBangChemistry.com. Today I'm going to explain the presence of proper axis of rotation present in perfect tetrahedral molecule. In my previous video, I already explained that what is how we represent the tetrahedral molecule in cube and what is the need and why we represent. So today I will explain the presence of the proper axis of rotation that is C2, 3C2 present in this AB4 type tetrahedral molecule. So to understand the presence of this symmetry element and its operation, stay tuned with me. So now as we know that we represent a tetrahedral molecule in a perfect cube by putting the B atom on alternate corner of a cube B1 b2 b3 and b4 and now we know that here the all the b atoms are same so for our understanding we are assuming that b1 is equal to what b2 b2 is what b3 b3 is nothing b4 is equal to b atom in this tetrahedral molecule many c2 axes are visible so we will try to understand each c2 axis one by one is yes, from the distinct symmetry operation it is clear that three c2 proper axis of rotation is present in this molecule how we will do the all the operation the first axis which is visible for us which is the what passing through the central atom and two opposite face of a cube so what are the opposite face of this cube so these two yellow colors are opposite face and passing through this one axis is visible which is your what c2 or not we will do this operation so first what what we will do we will rotate this molecule about this axis at 180 degree so when we rotate this molecule about this axis, we don't see anything, only we will observe the change in position of the B1, B2, B3, B4 atom on the yellow surface, right? So when we rotate this molecule at 180 degree, then what will happen? The position of B1 change with the what position of B4 and B4 interchange with the what position of with the B1. In the same way, what will happen? The position of this B2 interchange with the what B3 and B3 with the word B2. So after this, what type of arrangement we will get? We will get a new arrangement of the B atom, right? In which the position of B1 is interchanged with the word B4 and B4 interchanged with the word B1 and position of B2 interchanged with the word B3 and position of B3 interchanged with the word B2. So after this operation, again we see that all the B atoms are equal. So what we see that the structure number one and the structure number two are equivalent to each other. So that's why this molecule has the what one C2, which is passing through the central atom A and containing the what two opposite phase. In this molecule, other C2 is visible. So how we will perform that C2 operation in this molecule? So again, we will do the what the marking of central atom A and we will put the what B atom on alternate corner of the cube B1, B2, B3 and B4. Now one axis visible for this molecule is what passing through the central atom and again containing the what two opposite face of the cube. Now when you will check this molecule then you will find that again this axis this axis is what is one principal axis right and this axis containing the word central atom A and the two opposite pink color faces. So now this is the word symmetry element or not again what we will do we will perform the word one symmetry operation that is what rotation by 180 degree again. So when we rotate this molecule by 180 degree so what will happen the position of B2 interchange with the word B1 and B1 interchange with the word B2. In the same way B3 position change with the word B4 and B4 position change with the word B3. So after this interchange of position, what is the new arrangement of this molecule? Then we will find the new arrangement in which the, there is a change in position of B atom, but not the A, a atom. So B1 interchange with the word B2 and B2 interchange with the word B1. B3 position interchange with the word B4. So here B4 and here B3 and this is your word central atom. Again, when you will see that all the B atoms are same. So again, structure number this one, and this is structure number three. Again, structure number one is equivalent to what original one, this structure number three. That's why this 
molecule is having one C2 axis, right? So this is also what C2, which is what which is your what proper axis of rotation, and which is your what symmetry element. Now in this molecule, one more C2 is present, right? So how we will show that C2? So again, first mark the B atom. This is your what uh, uh, B1 atom, B2 atom, B3 atom, B4 atom, and this is your what central atom. Now this molecule is having one more C2 which is passing through the what central atom and the front face of the cube, right? How we will show the front face of the cube. Now this C2 is passing through this central atom A and containing this front and this back face of this cube. So now when we will do the what C2 operation about this axis, that means what rotation by 180 degree again. So what will happen? The position of B atom, I can interchange. So position of B2 interchange with the word B4 and B4 interchange with the word B2, right? But on the back face of this cube, the position of B3 change with the word B1 and the position of B1 change with the word B3, right? So after this interchange of position, what is the new structure of this molecule? After this interchange of the position of the B atom, what is the new structure of this molecule? We will get the B1 becomes B3 and B3 becomes B1, correct? B2 becomes B4 and B4 becomes B2. Again, all the B atoms are same. So again, structure number one and this is structure number four. So structure number one is equivalent to what four. So we can say that this molecule have one more C2, C2 axis. So total number of proper axis of rotation that is C2 type present in this molecule is what total three C2 is present. So I hope that everyone understood that how the perfect tetrahedral molecule has the what three C2 proper axis of rotation. So for more videos, please share and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.